Hello traders, welcome back to Pips Traders YouTube channel. Thank you for your continuous support to my channel. I really appreciate your support. So today in this video as usual, let us look at the price action in gold US dollar currency pairs from the 4 hours time frame to 30 minutes time frame and mark the current trend of the price action and present support and resistance levels. Before that, when we look at the economical events plan for today, Wednesday, July 5th, at 7.15 am we have medium impact in use for Chinese Yuan and we have high impacting OPEC meeting all day today. At 11.30 pm we have high impact in use for US dollar related currency pairs. It's an FOMC meeting minutes which will create high volatility in gold also. Let us begin with our gold LLC. I'm in 4 hours time frame now and when we look at the current trend of the price action I have already drawn the trend line or the support line which is from the higher time frame and currently when we look at the trend of the price action it is trading above this support line which means that the current trend is still in a bullish trend and it has taken support on the previous trend line or the support line and we are noticing it to bounce back on the bullish side retracement. I have also marked the Fibonacci levels. When we look at the level at which the price has taken support, it has taken support around the level of 61.80 percentage and we are noticing it to bounce back on the bullish side retracement. It is a valid support level according to the Fibonacci tool and it will have to break the 50% of the Fibonacci level in order to continue its bullish side retracement. Although the overall structure of the price action is in a bullish trend, Currently when we look at the price action, it is in a bearish trend. It has just now taken support on the 61% of the Fibonacci level and has bounced back on the bullish side retracement. It has to break this bearish channel pattern in order to get the confirmation on the bullish side trend reversal. Let us analyze this area of the price action more closely. So when we look at the price action more closely, it was in a bearish trend. And after taking support around the support level of 1907, we have noticed a price action to bounce back on the bullish side retracement. And I have also drawn the bearish channel pattern. So if the bullish side retracement continues, we can expect it to take resistance around this resistance zone, which is also the 50% of the Fibonacci resistance zone, which is 1938. And it has to break this support zone in order to fall further on the bearish side retracement in 4 hours time frame. But for now when we look at the current trend of the price action in 4 hours time frame, it is still in a bearish trend overall. Let us look at the price action for hourly time frame. I am in hourly time frame and when we look at the price action in hourly time frame, we can notice that. The trend of the price action in hourly time frame is also in a bearish trend. Currently it has taken resistance from the hourly time frame trend line or the resistance line where we have noticed the price action to respect this resistance level in the past also. So we can expect the price action to bounce back on the bearish side retracement. Again we have the daily time frame trend line or the support line where the price action has to break in order to continue further on the bearish trend. Otherwise, we can expect the price action to consolidate within this resistance line and the support line. And only when the price action breaks this bearish channel pattern from the 4 hours time frame, we can expect the bullish side trend reversal to start in hourly time frame also. So if you are a scalper, you can be trading within this resistance zone and the support line from the daily time frame, keeping the stop losses around this zone. So we can expect the price action to again bounce back on the BRE side from this resistance zone. And if the price action breaks this resistance zone, you can freshly enter on the bullish side trade, keeping the stop losses below this support zone. So the values in green color boxes are the resistance and support levels for current price action in hourly time frame. Currently the price action is trading between the support level of 1924 and resistance level of 1938. If the price action bounces back on the BRE side retracement, the next level of support is going to be around 1916, 1909, 1902, 
1893, 1880 and 1865. And on the bullish side, if the price action breaks is resistant zone and continues on the bullish side retracement, the immediate resistance is going to be around 1938, 1956 and 1968. Once the price action breaks is resistance level of 1968, it will be the confirmation on the start of the bullish side trend reversal in hourly time frame. Let us mark the support and resistance levels for 30 minutes time frame. I am in 30 minutes time frame now and when we look at the current price action in 30 minutes time frame, it is in the bullish trend trading within a bullish channel pattern and currently this came near to the support line of the bullish channel pattern after testing the resistance zone from the hourly time frame. So wait for the price action to break this resistance zone if you want to freshly enter on the bullish side trade in 30 minutes time frame or wait for the price action to break this trend line or support line from the bullish channel pattern in order to freshly enter on the bearish side trade in 30 minutes time frame. Currently we are noticing a sideways price action or a consolidation to start around this resistance zone. And the current price action is trading between the resistance level of 1927 and support level of 1921. Once the price action breaks this support level of 1921, next level of support is going to be around 1915, 1910, 1902 and 1893. And if the price action breaks the current resistance level of 1927, we can expect the bullish trend to continue and next level of resistance is going to be around 1938 and please refer the hourly time frame resistance levels for the bullish side target. So we have come to the end of today's analysis. Thank you for watching this video. If you have found this video to be useful, press that like button and share this video with your friends.